Hello lovelies and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be going over the third generation horse breeds and star stable and I will start with my like top 14 ish horses 13 ish horses and then I'll make a part two of the video and go over the ones that I don't like so much. So this is like my favorite my favorite group and then the next group is kind of like my least favorite horses that are third generation. I'm only doing the third generation because I don't think it's fair to do the old gens because obviously they're not going to be as good as the third generations and I will not score them as high as the third generations. So we're going to start here at Valedale with my favorite horse as of right now, third generation horse. And like my top five, my top six are my favorite breeds um, that I kind of like trade out and I ride the most. Uh, and I'll tell you why I ride them the most and I'll tell you why some of them aren't as high as others. But my first horse on my list is actually the Yorvik Wild Horse, which I know that they just came out, but they are my favorite as of right now. It'll probably change tomorrow, just depends on how I'm feeling. Um, but the reason I like these horses so much, uh, I, oh, also I decided not to do this at my home stable, even though I do have a lot of the horses that are my favorites on here in my home stable, but I just thought it would be better to show you guys all the colors, or at least the colors that are like closest together, because I don't have every single one of the horses from each breed that I like the most. So I really, really like these Yorvik Wild Horses, and I'll tell you why they, like, the only reason I really don't like them. The only reason I don't like them is because some of them have the color, and we all know that I don't like horses that have color on them because I don't think that they are as realistic as real life horses. But I can overlook that for how amazing that these horses have been made. These are only the first group that have come out. Um, the next group I don't like as much as this first group. I definitely like the, the first group better, but I do like two or three of the uh, next group also. So, as you guys know, if you guys have watched my previous video, I have the Ember Black, which is named Phantom. I have the Pally Mantle, which is named Bumble, and I have the uh, Silver Brown Mantle, which is Fern. And I really like these horses. I love the structure of these horses. I love the little cute animations, their noses, their ears. I love how they close their eyes and they itch their legs. I think that's so cute. I also think that they're priced pretty well. I know they're like 900 and like what, 75? Yeah, they're 975 star coins. That is a lot, but they have two amazing moves. Um, they kind of, ha kind of have like the Lebazon or Rear, which there is a particular name for that, but I don't know it off the top of my head. And also, they have the laying down position, which I really like also. I also really like the lion mane and their regular mane. I don't really like the mohawk mane that they have, but I think it's nice that they have so many versatile options. So that's the reason why these are my favorite horses on Star Stable at the moment. Hello, I am back with our second rate or rating of horse. So the English thoroughbred came in second for me. I actually use the English thoroughbreds a lot. You guys see them in my photos on Instagram a lot. You guys see them on videos a lot because they are so easy to use for those videos. They look so sleek. I have the black one named Meteor. I have the white one named Caster. I have the seal brown named Lucky. And I have Storm, which is the dapple gray. And I also have the sorrel, excuse me, the chestnut named um, crimson. And yes, I say sorrel. I'm a western girl. I'm sorry. I understand a lot of you say chestnut. You weird English people. I'm just kidding. Um, English is actually really cool. I'm just really bad at it. So, the reason why I like these horses so much, um, the only thing I really don't like about these horses is the fact that their forelock looks like a bunch of noodles, okay? So, I don't ever use this, uh, mane on the horses. I actually use one of the other mane styles on the horse, the one that parts down the middle and goes on either side. Um, that's the only thing I dislike about these horses, though. I love these horses. They move so beautifully. They have the perfect, I love the gallop. It's the perfect racehorse gallop, and I think that it's perfect for this horse. And I also just think that these horses are just so versatile. You can use them for anything. You can use them for cr cross 
country. You can use them for show jumping. You can use them for hunter jumper. You can use them to run around. They're pretty fast. I think that they're amazing. Um, I love how they look in photos. They're just a really sleek, posh horse, and that's why they came in second for me. Coming in at number three on our list is the Lusitano, guys. The Lusitano is another horse that I really like. I have a couple of them. I have the Palomino named Sun. I have the, it's like a buckskin dapple named Hero. I have the Cherry Bay named Coco. I have the Flea Bitten Gray named Frost. And I have the Regular Bay named Amethyst. So I have a lot of these horses, and the reason why I don't like these horses completely is because I feel like they are a hit and miss with me with the coat colors. I feel like some of the coat colors are very similar. I feel like some of them are pretty boring, um, but I like some of the other coat colors that they've done. That's why I haven't bought the black one. I feel like we have a lot of black horses that look like this. I also feel like we have a lot of, um, I think there's also a white one somewhere. I may be wrong. But I also feel like the Palomino is nothing special, but we know I love Palomino, so I had to get the Pally. And so, but I like these horses because of their build. So they're not like super stocky like draft horses, but they're not super like small and uh, like like agile looking as the like thoroughbreds they're more of a stockier breed and they're more of a dressage type breed i like that these horses look good in a western saddle and an english saddle they look good in both and i love that about these horses they're so easy to tack i also really like the price 949 star points for an extra move which is the it's the one where they do like the jog and place type move it's a dressage move. I know the actual term, but it's really hard to say, so I'm not going to say it. And so that's why I really like these horses. I have a couple of them, and I really like to ride them. So, yeah, that's why I like these horses. They move really well. And coming in fourth place, which actually this horse is really close to scoring just as much as the Lusitano. Uh, the only reason I put this horse as fourth, which is the Andalusian, or Andalusian, sorry, is because of the colors that have come out. I only liked a few colors on these horses. I think they have really basic colors. I don't really think there's anything special besides uh, the one that came out at the Jorvik um, open house. I have that one. That one's name is Cinder. I do have the um, Dapple over here. I call that one Moon. And then I do have the, I think it's a Cremello. And that one's name is Petal. And, but the other three that we have over here are very basic. And also this one is red. Um, that's not really a coat color I've ever seen on a horse. I've never seen a horse look red or orange. So I don't really like that. But, oh, sorry guys. One second. Let me go back on to here. Sorry about that, guys. So, I don't really particularly like these horses too much um, with the coat color. Now, the face on this horse is actually really scary. Also, I don't like the animation for this horse as much. Um, there's not really a big animation. And also, this horse is squinting its eyes and it's basically pinning its ears at some points. And it also looks really mean. This horse's face looks so mean. And I think that, that just it just doesn't work for it in that way. Um, I just think that some of them just look really angry. And it makes me sad. Um, I wish they would have had a better facial expressions and animations with their face and their ears. But other than that, I actually really like this horse. They have an extended walk type move with their front legs. It's another dressage move. It also has a stockier build like the Lusitano that I was talking about. It looks good in a western saddle and an English saddle. And it's only 950 star coins, which is great for an extra move. So that is why I like these horses so much. Okay, and coming in fifth is actually one of my favorite breeds in real life, the American Quarter Horse. So there's actually a really big reason why I don't have these as my number one. I actually have a lot of them. I have this Pally. It's named Charm. I have this white-faced, white-stocked, black horse named Arctic. I have this strawberry or red roan named Ace. 
I really like the flea bitten gray and want to get the flea bitten gray and I also really like the black or the blackberry roan but I don't have that one either but I do have it on the app and I have this grulo named rebel so I do have a lot of them but the reason I don't like this horse is because it is western based in this game now hear me out guys I don't think that we should not be allowed or like that I'm gonna like go on a rampage and say that people shouldn't ride in an English saddle on this horse in this game that is not true the quarter horse in real life is one of the most versatile horses in the world and that's actually proven by research and everything else that they've done they are actually the most versatile horse they can be used for so much they can be used for roping they can be used for barrels they can be used for reining they can be used for herding cattle but they can also be used for show jumping and hunter jumper and dressage and so many other english based like riding styles and i think that that's really important that like should be a representation of this horse in this game and it's not the horses that they made are western based quarter horses they have the head carriage the really low neck they have the haunch turns the reining turns they have the sliding stop which is another reining thing that horses do um for like quarter horses for western based horses so to me just me now you can do whatever you want with your quarter horses on this game you know more power to you if you think the horses look better in an english saddle I personally think that these horses have to wear western or they don't look right. And I don't like that because this game is not a western based game. This game is more of a cross country, more of a show jumping type game. There's more races that are like that and very few that are not like that. So to me, these horses could be more versatile in this game and that's why these horses aren't my number one and why they're my number five. Just because I have all of these guys in Western Saddles, and the reason I don't buy the Flea Bit and Gray and all the others is because I don't want to put every single one of these horses in a Western Saddle because I don't like how the Western Saddles look when you jump. You phase through them with your character, and it doesn't look very good, and you're not supposed to jump in a Western Saddle. It just doesn't work out. I've done it before because, you know, I'm me, and I've, I've done a lot of different types of riding and, you know, taught my horses how to jump in some Western Saddles, which isn't the smartest thing to do. But, you know... I just don't think that they did this horse justice in this game as well as they could have. I do think the coat colors are gorgeous. I do think the main styles are gorgeous. I love the western braids. I love the um, flat look of the braids. Uh, and I also love the regular um, the regular mane as well. I also like the way that these horses do move under reining and western style. I think that they're gorgeous. But I think that they should have had more of a collected, rounded English type quarter horse also available to people who ride English because they have a lot of English riders on this game. So that's why this horse came in fifth. Hello guys, we're back at the manor and we're going to be checking out the Alkill Tiki's. I know I probably don't say it right, but it's fine. So I actually have a couple of these horses. I have the gray i have the kind of like pally cremello and then i have the like really pale cremello that's over here um the gray's named dragon the uh, lighter cremello is named glimmer and i think the darker one is named glory and i don't think that i have the dapple gray i think i looked at that one though but i don't think i actually have that one over here um so i actually really like these horses um the reason why i don't have them closer up to the top and the reason why they're six is because some of the coat colors such as this one are really cool but you would never actually see them in real life i've never seen a horse look like that in real life you know correct me if i'm wrong send me a picture in the comments please prove me wrong i want to be wrong about this horse um i also think that this one is trying to uh show a type of alkyl tiki that doesn't actually look as orange this looks more orange than yellow which is what it should look more like um, so some of these coat colors I don't think are as convincing as others and I also don't like that this type of Cremello is so close to the other one which is more of like a white type of Cremello but or or Polarino I, I don't know I just wouldn't really call them like I don't know they're like really close to each other so that's why I actually had this horse of six I also had this horse of six it is 850 star coins but another reason I don't really like this horse is the roached mane. Are you with me, if you will, but 
I don't like the regular main styles, so like the Jorvik Warmblood, like the typical main styles that we have ready for us at the hairstylist. I don't like them. I don't think that the braids look good because I really like the tail on this horse. And that's why in my video of like what Star Stable has done wrong, I said that I wish that they would let us have the mane or the tail separately rather than having to change both because none of the other tails look fairly good on this horse compared with like the main styles and i don't like really uh, the other main styles i wish they would have had another style besides the roached mane i hate roached manes i don't think that they look good but that's the only one that looks decent on this horse and that's another reason why this horse came in six and not higher but i do really like the sleek it's another sleek, really elegant looking horse. The movements of this horse are very elegant, and I really like that. I really like the way that they look. Um, but they don't also have a special move, which I think that they could have because they're more of a, like, really, like, halter type horse. But I think that they could have had better moves, like, at least on the ground or something. I think that they could have done more, and I think that they didn't, and they chose not to. But I do really like the coat colors of this horse. And, you know, I also really like some of the magic horses that come have come out in this coat in uh, different coat colors with this style breed of horse um so that's why this horse came in six and not higher let me make sure i'm recording yep okay so i actually decided to put most of the magical horses um on more of a picture-esque type thing on uh, my search engine because they're not available in the game right now so I can't show you to I can't show you guys them in the game and also I don't have some of these magical horses in the game so I think that it wouldn't be fair to rate them if you guys don't actually see what they look like so these are one of my favorite two magical horses that I actually don't have and it's super sad for me because I joined a month after they were available in game so they weren't available for me when I joined the game again after being on a hiatus for so long and it makes me it makes me super sad so this is umbra and ayla i don't remember which is which i think this is umbra and that's ayla, or this is umbra and that's ayla i don't know um but i have them tied together in seventh because they're just so gorgeous and i really like them i really like that they are the um they are the andalusian i think that the andalusian style of breed um but their their breeds are called Umbra and Ayla, and I really like their regular coats, and I really like their magical coats. Their magical coats are gorgeous. They you can tell people put so much time into them. The reason why they're not higher on my list is because I actually have never ridden these horses in real life uh, on the game, because you know they weren't available to me and I can't buy them, and also because they were not available for me to buy, so they can't be rated any higher than that because I haven't had the opportunity to actually give you guys my full opinion of them. So they are my favorite magical horses and I do stalk Star Stable's Instagram comments and I have seen other people ask about them and they have said, Star Stable has commented back to those people and said that they will be available again in the future sometime, but we just need to stay tuned. I don't know when that will be and I honestly think that Star Stable just needs to bring out all the magical horses that Gary Goldtooth has found and just put them all up for sale. That way we can just buy them all as soon as we want to. Um, and I think that they should just be available in the game at all times, but I understand why they don't have them available at all times because they want to make money and I get it, but I'm sad because I couldn't get these horses because they weren't available for me to buy, but I love these horses and I love the way that they look and I actually already have names picked out for them when they come back. So yeah, that's why these horses came in seventh. So the next horse on my list, guys, is actually a horse that I am riding, and it's the Jorvik Warmblood. And so, the reason why this Jor Jorvik Warmbloods are so the Jorvik Warmbloods are so high on my list, um, they came in eighth because I really like the build and the and, like the structure of this horse. I think that Star Stable did an amazing job um, with this horse, and I feel like they look great. I don't like that this horse. Uh, is the only starter available that's why it's so low and I also don't like that um, on the ones that you can still buy which you can buy other Jorvik Warmbloods just so you guys are aware I do have another one this is Echo my starter and then I have another one named Comet which is a like white and uh, pally paint and I really like that horse um, is because they're mirrored if you look at the other horses that have like more of like a different differentiation uh, like different coat pattern um, like different colors, you can tell that the horse is mirrored on both sides, which I think is a huge cop out for Black uh, for Star Stable, and I feel like they just 
didn't do a good enough job on these horses. They could have done so much more. They could have looked so much cooler. They could have had such more versatile coat colors, and they decided not to do that, and I understand why, but it also kind of makes me sad. Um, I do really like this horse. I do like the build. I think that it's more of like an athletic uh, sport type horse, and I like those types of horses. I definitely don't think it's as good as the English Thoroughbred or the Alkyl Tiki, but I do really like this horse still, so that is why this horse came in A. Okay, just making sure I'm recording again, guys. So now we're going to move on to the next mag magical horses that I put as ninth on my list. Um, they're a Lusitano type structure. Um, the breeds are called Birch and Sakura. I'm going to call it Sakura. I don't know if there's a different way to say it, but I watch Naruto and that's how they say Sakura and it's spelled like that and Naruto fight me in the comments. Let's go. Um, <laughs> just kidding. But so these horses are the other magical horses that I really like and I'm super sad that weren't available for me. I was not playing the game when they were available. Sad day. I think they're one of the first magical horses that ever came out. Um, they're called Birch and Sakura, but I think their like breed name is Barheart. Um, they they kind of changed it when the Yorvik Wild Horses came out. I guess they called these guys Yorvik Wild Horses. I guess they had to change that. I don't know, but I really still like these horses, and I'm really sad that I don't have the opportunity to get them. The reason why these horses came in, I think I said ninth. Let me count: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine. Yes. The reason why these horses came in ninth is because, once again, I haven't had the opportunity to ride them, um, have them in the game. I don't really know how they, like, look or move, and um, I do like their other coats, but I don't like their other coats as well as I liked um, their normal coats as well as I like Umbra and Ayla and their coats and their other coats. So, but these guys are my second favorite magic horse, but they are my ninth favorite horse in the game, and I am really sad that I haven't had the opportunity to buy them, and I don't know if Star Stable will ever come back with these guys, because I haven't asked, but I'm going to ask in Instagram comments next time Star Stable posts something, because they usually comment back about stuff like that. So, yeah, that's why these horses came in ninth. Okay, guys, coming in tenth is the Trackner. We have two here at the Manor. We have this gray one, and then we have more of like a bay type looking one here we also have the chestnut which i have which is named copper and then we also have a more of a seal brown and more of a black one at golden hills so the reason why this horse is 10th and not higher on my list even though i ride copper all the time is two reasons um number one i feel like they could have done uh more versatile co colors and also they look so much like the yorvik Warmbloods. I feel like the Orvic Warmbloods and this horse look so similar. If you put the same main style that I have on this horse, on that horse, they look almost identical. Um, I understand why, because they're kind of like the same style, type of style of horse, but it makes me really kind of annoyed that the Yorvik Warmblood's so close to them. You could just call the Yorvik Warmblood's trackners if you ch change a couple things on them. So, sorry if you guys hear people in the background. They're being really loud for no apparent reason. I don't know why. Um, but... Hold on, guys. No, write them up. Sorry if you guys heard that. Um, there's some people making a lot of noise in the hall, and so we were talking SCAs on what we should do, and I obviously am done with it. So, anyway, moving on from what just happened. Um, I was talking about the trackner, and why I didn't like the Trackner um, as much as I used to. I think I said it was number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, so I have Copper, but another thing that really made me mad about this horse is that they changed the gates. Star Stable changed the gates for this horse, and now they're ruined. And it makes me so sad because I would have probably bought more, if not all of them, if their gates weren't changed. So now I only have one, and I do still really like that horse, and I still do, do like to ride it because it's beautiful, but the trot is definitely messed up and a lot of different things about it are messed up so star stable if you're watching this fix it <laughs> um and now we're gonna move on to the next one okay guys so the next horse on my list coming in at number 11 is the rune runner so the reason why this horse didn't score higher is because of a couple of things it looks kind of like a draft horse in certain aspects but it's not as tall as one so i'm okay with it um and it also kind of looks like a fjord horse type horse um i'm not a huge fan of the fjords either 
uh, because they're Celtic typed horses, and I also don't like how the runes look Celtic on this horse, but I do like that this horse is free, although it obviously takes a while to get it. I do also really like the mane and tail on this horse, and I do actually really like the color, and I don't really mind the runes on it. So that's why this horse came in 10th. Um, I also couldn't really score higher because I don't have it yet. Obviously, I'm very far away from getting this horse. Um, and also because if I haven't ridden this horse yet and I haven't like ridden it and seen the gates and rid rode it and like tried on different tack and stuff, I don't really have a huge way of uh, scoring this horse. So that's why this horse came in 10th because of looks alone and the way that I've seen people ride it around uh, Jorvik. So that's why this horse came in 10th. Okay, guys, coming in at 11th, uh, no, that would have been, the Rune Runner came in at 11th, I might have said 10th earlier, the Rune Runner came in at 11th, the Campos and Taylina have come in at 12th. Um, the reason these horses have come in at 12th is because I really like the horse, and I like the Alkyl Tiki, like, in like structure on this horse, but these horses are really hard to get tag onto, um, I have, uh, I think this one's Campos, I have Campos, his name is C, and the reason why um, I don't ride him as often is because it was really hard to find tack for him, and it's not my favorite tack that I've ever had on a horse. So if you don't go very neutral, like black and white on this horse, you have to really match the color scheme of this horse's wild coat. Now I do really like Campos's regular coat right here, I do really like that coat, but it's, you know, obviously... It's a little bit different for an Alkyl Tiki horse. Um, I did not like Talina's coat as much, and I also didn't get Talina because in the game, Talina looked kind of um, like a horse without fur and without skin, <laughs> like a skinned horse, and I really didn't like that. It really creeped me out a little bit. Um, sometimes I feel like I should have gotten Talina. Sometimes I feel like I shouldn't have, but I'm really glad I got Campos, and that's why this horse came in at 12. Alright guys, coming in at 13th is Dorka. Ignore Solus. Solus is way lower on my list because we've talked about Solus before but uh, and why I don't really like Solus. But I really like Dorka. I bought Dorka and I love the colors on this horse. I think it's a beautiful magic horse and I also really like the regular um, horse coat on this horse. I like how it still like keeps like the, um, the main plate and the tail plate. I think that that's really pretty. Um, the reason why this horse didn't score higher and the reason why it's 13th on my list is because the color scheme is really hard to find a, uh, tack color and outfit color that looks really well with it. You basically have to wear black or blue. That's your only choice. And usually darker tones of blue. So that's why. And also, we know that I don't really like draft type horses. The Irish Cobb is okay. So I really kind of, um, like this horse. And the more I ride it, the more it grows on me. Although it does move kind of frumpy like and really hard on the ground like draft horses do but you know that's just how draft horses are so that's why this horse came in 13th on my list okay guys last on my first round of horses for the third generation horses ratings is the morwari on um star stable so i actually have a few of these i have this little pally with the really cool like um uh, facial markings. His name is Hawk. I have this one right here. His name is Ninja. Oh, no. That one's name is Pirate. Sorry. Um, I have this one right here. This one's name... Wait. This one's name is Ninja. Yes. And then I have this one over here. Um, and I can't... Wish. That one's name is Wish. And I actually wish that I could... Uh, <laughs> speaking of Wish, I wish that I could have scored this horse higher. There's a couple reasons why this horse isn't as high on my list. This horse is a lot of star coins. It's 950, but it has a couple of different moves. It has the bow, and it has the little jog in place as you turn. Um, and I really like this horse. I really actually do like this horse. Uh, I love the ears. I love the colors. I think that they did a magnificent job with the colors and the, the horse. I'm just going to say this. This horse is tiny. This horse is so small. The character literally swallows this horse. And in real life, I've ridden a Mirari or two. I've never had a Mawari actually be that small. Maybe I'm wrong, but I compare this horse, this horse can actually be kind of close to a smaller quarter horse. I don't think that this horse should be this small, and it looks really unproportionate to the character, and that's why I can't rate this horse higher. I just don't particularly like it as much as I thought it would. Um, also, 
this coat color I thought was my one of my favorites, but it actually, besides the facial marking, I don't really like this coat color anymore, and I'm kind of sad that I bought this horse. Um, it's not one of my favorites, but I still really like the horse in general, so that's why this horse still made it into my favorite group of horses, um, 14th on my list. So that is why this horse is rated the last of my favorites on the first part of my videos. Okay guys, today was only the first part of this video, so stay tuned for the next part. Um, a couple of really important things are coming up on this channel. Um, it is a double star coin weekend. I will be buying star coins for the upcoming Halloween update that is coming out Wednesday that I'm so, so, so excited about. I can't wait to show you guys everything about this video. And I am so excited, and I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and stay tuned to the part two, which is my least favorite horses of Generation 3 on Star Stable, but, you know, the higher ones are kind of in the middle of my favorites. So, I got, hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I hope you guys have a wonderful night. Bye, lovelies.